before I start saying anything, you guys should know that I am sick. You guys can probably tell by my voice. Obviously, throughout this video, my voice is gonna sound a little, uh, you know. I've been sick for almost a week, but for the last few days, it's just my voice has been like this, just like very, like, I don't know, you know, it's annoying. It's annoying to talk like this, it's annoying to hear my voice like this. I'm tired of it, but you know, I can't do anything about it. Now it has been three weeks since my last upload. That's a long time. I did tell you guys on my Instagram that I was going on a little vacation with my family. I just wanted to spend time with them. I don't know if you guys remember it, but I told you guys that I'm now three hours away from my family, like about three hours away. So I don't see them that much and I'm a very, uh, and I'm a family person, so I miss them a lot. So the last two weeks I spent over there with my parents and it was good because everyone was there and I had fun and I did go to Ensenada for a weekend with my whole family and this eye got infected, not infected but I was wearing contacts and I took them off, my eyes started hurting, it got so red, it got nasty but when I took them off after that, which was like a week ago, this eye has been blurry ever since. Like I, I'm pretty much, well I'm not blind but I, I'm very, it's very blurry, I don't know if that's normal but I just wanted to tell you guys, you know just to talk to you guys because I missed being in front of the camera and talking to you guys. I miss editing. I haven't done that in a long time. Man, it's been a long time. But yeah, I don't know if my voice is gonna annoy you. It, it annoys me, so you know, it's fine. Anyways, this video was requested by one of my followers and sorry it took so long for me to film it. This is one of my favorite looks that I've done so far. It's not that hard to do. You just need to find the right products and the right brushes and you're good to go. Just remember that you need a lot of practice, you know, to do anything. I am still practicing doing every, everything of makeup, you know, eyeliner, eyebrows, anything. Anyways, enough of the chatting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this look, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Actually, just the eyes. I didn't do the face. If you guys want to see it. <laughs> Just keep on watching. So I already primed my eyes <coughs> using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm going to start off by putting the Makeup Geek Desert Sands on my crease. And I'm using an e.l.f. Cosmetics crease brush for that. And I'm applying that lightly from my inner corner all the way to my outer corner. So before I continue to pack more of that eyeshadow on my crease, I'm just blending it out with a Luxie 229 tapered brush. Now before I pack on my blue eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Eye Base in Submissive. And to apply that, I'm using a Luxie 211 Concealer Brush. And I'm applying that all over my eyelid of kind of outlining the crease shadow I applied. Kind of forming the shape I want. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to use a Be A Bella Brush to apply the blue eyeshadow in. This is a Makeup Geek pull side eyeshadow. I kind of like this brush to pack on eyeshadow better than a flat brush because I feel like this brush um, gets more product and applies it to the eyeshadow, like it doesn't stay on the brush. I mean, it applies it to my eyelid. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply my favorite gel or cream eyeliner and this one's the e.l.f. Cosmetics Cream Liner in Black. And I'm alone in my apartment and I get scared very easily. So every time I hear something, I get so paranoid. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Angled Eyeliner Brush. I'm not going to go all the way into my inner corner. I'm going to kind of start off in the middle. When I do a graphic eyeliner or just like a big eyeliner or different that I've never done, I always like using a cream or a gel eyeliner because it's way easier and better to fix or to clean up. And I like using e.l.f. because it's so creamy and easy to work with. So I'm gonna stop right here for the eyeliner and whatever's left in my brush, which is not a lot, I'm just gonna lightly try to blend that line 
out because I don't want any I don't want it to look so harsh and now that it's nice and blended I'm just gonna get a little more and blend this in Okay, so this next part is kind of tricky because I've used this a couple times and every time I try to fix it, I can't really fix it because it really stays on there, which is a good thing, but it's harder for me to fix. Now I'm just going over the top, pretty much creating a line between the crease eyeshadow and the eyelid, eyelid, and the eyelid eyeshadow. So the eyelashes that I'll be wearing are the Vegas Nay lashes. These are the Grand Glamour lashes. Now we're almost, oh my god, now we're almost done. Now the last thing I'm going to add is the Desert Sand eyeshadow, which is the same one I applied on my crease to my lower lash line. Now I know on this picture I didn't put any mascara on my lower lashes, but I am going to add mascara because I really wanted to try this pure mascara. This mascara has argan oil and then when I open it, the bristles are different. I've never like seen bristles like this before. They're like super short. So let's see how it works. So after I apply mascara to my lower lashes, I like to go in with some tweezers and just separate them because I don't like when it looks like just um, some very close together. It does make my eyelashes look longer and um, darker. Now for the lips, I'm going to put the Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics um, lipstick in 1995. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed um the video and this look if you liked it please give it a thumbs up by the way the highlight i'm wearing is pure cosmetics um afterglow illuminating powder um i really like this powder i just add a little bit and you get a lot of pigment this is my first time using it and i really like it i do say the lorac twilight illuminating powder is better but you know this is this is good too that one i think will always be my favorite one if you have any other requests or want me to do any other videos, um, let me know in the comments down below. The links to my um, social medias are down below in case you guys want to follow me. I really can't wait to film more because I, I really miss this. I really do. I miss editing even though sometimes I get frustrated because it takes so long. But I miss it. I like doing it. I like filming for you guys. You know? So I can't wait. Well, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Hi, sneeze. <clears throat> Damn it. It's not that hard to... And I'm using... Whoa. I'm just really hating my voice. It's here because if I talk like this, you can't really hear my voice. Like, if I'm sick. But if I talk normal, you can hear the scratchy, or, you know. Now I know on the picture, now I know on this picture I didn't put any makeup, or makeup. This is my, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed.